Fathom going into the Hurricane Center without the aid of a hurricane forecast track code. But that was the case years ago. In fact, it wasn't until 2003 where we had the forecast cone as we know it. So what did we use before that? Well, the National Hurricane Center issued forecasts for just three days versus the five days that we see now. Imagine the situation back in 1964. That was the very first time the National Hurricane Center issued a three-day forecast. And George Winterling knows all too well how valuable that information was, but it was still very sparse as that Category 2 hurricane rolled in along our shoreline. Today, we have the forecast cone and as soon as the storm forms the hurricane center issues this as a tropical depression and then on to a storm and hurricane but what's important to note is that the impacts from hurricanes and tropical storms can be felt well outside of the storm in fact here you can see Jacksonville was not even in the cone with Ian but many homes suffered the erosion the wind damage and of course the heavy rain and high winds that we had here so it's an important takeaway that the effects from hurricanes can extend far beyond the reach of what's in that cone. And in fact, what is the cone? Well, each forecast point is a dot and that represents the time out and through the future and the errors expand or get larger. And so in essence, a cone is actually just a swept out portion that gets wider based on the average track errors over the past five years. So when when you look back at the errors from recent years, uh, the cone usually gets narrower each year. This year, we're not going to see much of a change, though. And remember that the storm can be outside of that cone on average about two thirds of the time, or roughly 67%. So, looking at this year's adjustments, the width is basically the same from 12 hours out to about 48 hours. And then later in the forecast, the cone gets a little bit wider based on those average airs. The difference in length is due to the speed of the storm. So if a storm is stationary, that cone is not gonna look very conical, but rather more of a, a circle. And if the storm is moving faster, it takes on a more stretched out approach. That's all the cone tells you the timing of the storm, the location, and the type of winds, but it does nothing to talk about flooding, tornadoes. That's when you need to rely on the Weather Authority to give you those updates. I'm meteorologist Mark Collins.